what are the transformations of this function. We need to identify basically everything that's happening. Now, if you are struggling with this, here is my first recommendation. Identify every single component, a sine of bx minus c plus d. So you could say a is equal to negative 3, b is equal to 2, c is equal to pi over 4, d is equal to 0. If you want the most basic way to do this, I would just label everything. But I believe the majority of you at this point in time doesn't need to write that out every single time. Um, what I'm basically going to ask you is any transformations? Yes? Um, yes, c is going to be a negative pi over 4 in this case. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, now, basically, the horizontal, uh, let's kind of go through our first thing. If I'm going to be looking at here, I can see that there's a reflection, right? So if I'm looking at my transformations, I can say there is a reflection of the x-axis. The amplitude. is going to be the absolute value of negative 3, which is equal to 3. Remember, that's the half distance, right? And these are all things you guys are going to need to know. The period, drop my O, period is simply going to be 2 pi divided by b, or the absolute value of b, which in this case is absolute value of 2, which is just going to be pi. Does everybody follow me? because the period of sine, cosine, secant, and cosecant is 2 pi. Then we can talk about the frequency is going to be absolute value of 2 over 2 pi, which the frequency is going to be 1 over pi. Right? They're just reciprocals of one another. And then last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, instead of vertical shift, we're still going to call vertical shift. But instead of calling it a horizontal shift, you're going to see it labeled as phase shift. All right. So when we're identifying our phase shift, which is basically us shifting left or right, one thing I want you guys to identify is we have a B in this case, right? Yes? We have a B. Does everybody see that? A B. So therefore, to identify the phase shift, I need to take 2x plus pi over 4 and set it equal to 0. Now I need to solve for x. So I subtract pi over 4. 2x equals negative pi over 4. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x equals negative pi over 8. So we know from it being a positive that I'm going to be shifting to the left but I'm not shifting to the left pi over 4. My phase shift is going to be left negative pi over 8. Okay, And that is all that you are going to need to know how to do for your homework.